Hey girls, hey boys, welcome back to more of the best games from Ludum Dari 46, officially the biggest one yet, with nearly 5,000 games submitted. All games are on the theme of Keep It Alive, and remember to subscribe to Randomised User for more coverage of Ludum Dari. Uh, we start with Substitute DJ, which mashes up card games with disc jockeying. The amazing plot, which you can see here, is that I have to replace a DJ who got locked in the fridge. Let's mix. So I'm jumping into level 2 where things get interesting, and I've got to satisfy the metal heads and also uh, the, the guys who like EDM. So let's drag a card on there to start, and I've dragged an EDM card there, and we've got to satisfy them based on the bars on the right. So at the moment, the metal heads are getting a bit pissy, so let's drag a metal thing into there. We have to match, like, grooves with grooves and all that. So we've got to be careful, and if things go particularly badly, we can call on some sounds. Yeah. Like that, which will automatically bump everyone up. Oh, quick. Okay, so at the moment we're probably losing the EDM people, the lads on the right. Oh, uh, we better put in some EDM then. Oh no, it missed! Try that again. There we go, that's more like it. Some more EDM. Oh, let's quickly, um, hang on. We're losing the crowd. Also, let's do this. Yes. Yes! Right, okay. Melody. Right, so we're actually satisfying both very well indeed, so it doesn't really matter what card. Okay, so any, any pink card and any green card. Metal beats. Oh, this is going to be a very metal section of the song. So the song actually dynamically generates, depending what you put in. So it's not always the same every time you play it. So level two is coming to an end. Let's quickly... And... Oh! I'm, um, I'm doing something all over the audience. Oh dear! <laughs> I better put your tops on, lads. And level two is now complete, and we have a two-star situation. I, mean, I did very well with the metal, but not so well with the, the EDM lads. And I've also got some new stuff to put on my uh, decks, as I believe the, the hip people call it. Oh god, now we've got three lots of genre. Oh, hang on, that changed quickly. Right, here we go. So we're, we're doing EDM, so we're going to satisfy those lads first. Let's warm them up. Ooh. There's a ferry in. Right, so that got um, everyone up to the top at the start, which does seem to be a good idea. Right, so we've got some metal beats going on. We've got, we've got some um, we've got some disco um, tunes to actually play now. Okay, groove. Let's... Oh, it's both EDM. We've only got a choice of EDM. These random cards at the bottom can prove to be a little... What's up, boys? What's up, boys? Right, hang on. <laughs> can be a little tricky at times. Okay, let's... We've got metal and EDM. We haven't got much disco on the go, so we better warm them up again. Yeah. Metal. Oh, God. EDM or metal again. Oh, dear. The disco lads... They're going to boogie on out of here. Okay, groove and beats. Oh, no, the disco lads. No. Okay. A quick yeah and also a siren. I think we finished the, we almost finished the song because the level's about to complete. Oh, God. We're not going to score very well with the disco lads. Look at them. They're all pissy. And they're all hairy and all. But everyone else is fine. Now, let's see what we scored. Yes! Three stars! Even though I didn't really keep the disco lads very happy. Not so much a case of Saturday Night Fever as Saturday Night Coronavirus. No, I can't say that. This is Adrenaline by Daniel Linson, no stranger to winning Ludum Dare, at this time coming up with a procedurally generated take on that slider game where you, once you press a direction, you can't stop, and you just have to get to the exit on these randomised levels. Uh, the difficulty is at the bottom right, so it'll slowly but surely increase, and it's all about beating your top score in terms of the level that you got to. And uh, Now, these can get tricky suddenly, so you've got to be careful. We need to be... Oh, no. Round, 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 round. There! Whoo, that was close. And you don't necessarily sh um, want to rush off and quickly get to the exit and until you see the path, because otherwise things can go hideously wrong, because you can get trapped in little um, corners or whatever. This is actually very similar to a previous one. We have to go round. Uh, because sometimes, yeah, you, you, if you go the wrong direction, even from the start, you may never recover from that. That one's easy. Difficulty now 4.7. Uh, oh, yeah, this is... This is dead easy. Yep, this one's fine. This one should be easy. We're on level 12. Oh, are we okay? Oh, no. Quick. Ooh. The time limit is brutal on this. Absolutely brutal. You don't realise this at first, but it's... Oh, God, there we go. Okay. It is getting trickier and more puzzling. And sometimes the levels do seem to repeat somewhat. I think that's just the either the random generation or maybe, maybe secretly they're not random. Maybe it's just... I think... Oh, God. There we go. Um, no. Ooh, that was close. Level 20. We're doing very well here, boys. Here we go. 
Round here, down there. Oh, dicks, I, I shut off prematurely there. Oh, not for the first time. Actually, yes, for the first time ever. And go around there, round here. And, oh, yes, straightforward. Another one like this is very similar to a previous one. Oh, uh, I, yes, 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 yes. We're doing very well here, boys. Yes, perfect. Oh, dear. That's not ideal. Round, down, across, down. I'm in the zone. I'm in the zone. I mean, I mean, I mean the T zone. I'm, oh, the only, oh! Also, the time limit apparently um, ramps up. Oh, that's the first time I noticed that. I got to difficulty 9.9, .9, which I reckon is possibly the highest you can get. I say that, but I have no idea. But let's say that's the case, because I'm great. Hooray! This is Dog's Best Friend. This is really rather wonderful. It only takes you a few minutes to play through, so we'll do that. I'm the dog, and that's the hero of our story, some bloke who is under a tree, feeling a bit sorry for himself. Let's revive him. There he goes. And now he... Yeah, oh, he's patting me on the head. Arf, arf. Thank you very much, master. And so, yeah, so he's technically the hero, but I'm the one who's actually doing all the work. So he's going to fight the gate. He's going to fight creatures that attack. I can help. I can bark. There's a dedicated bark button, as all games should have if they don't have a dedicated honk button. There we go. Um, I should probably get um, a reserve apple to bring to my master. Something's happening up there. I mean, yeah, my my um, my lad is actually really like kicking snakes and things, but I'm doing the business over here. I'm giving him a apple. Oh, bark, bark, bark. I think we're all good. Okay, so he's taking care of the snake whilst I've just been running around going off a lot. Off, off. Right, open the gate. Oh, he did that on him, on all of his own. Oh god, here we go. Okay, let's keep those at bay whilst he deals with the bottom lads. Oh, let's help out. Oh, snakes, snakes. Oh, watch out for snakes. Oh, oh wow, he, <laughs> that snake went flying. Some kind of air snake. Right. There we go. Punch. Punch it. Punch it. There we go. You are looking a little sorry for yourself at the moment, so we do need some apple action. I love the styling in this. The, the blocky styling. It's really clever. Right. Eat. Eat! i get another one and all. Just in case. Keep that in reserve. Ooh, I'm, 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 I'm. Meanwhile, oh, things are happening. Things are happening. I just can't get there. There we go. Right. Bark! You can also bark when you're holding an apple, which is convenient for all concerned. I'm not going to give you an apple. Oh, they, uh, no. <laughs> he stole it from my very back, the little turd. Right, so that helped you out. You didn't take any injury there because of my um, not annoying... Oh my god, there's a bear. Or is it a warthog? I think that might be a warthog. Here, have an apple whilst I bark. I am Sir Barks a lot. Come here, chum. Get bloody win allotted. Right, there we go. <laughs> just barking away. Let's be let's be getting an apple just in case. Oh, we, have, we, we do need that. Right, I can continue my barking... Which will really hopefully help him out. I'm not sure if he's actually... Oh, there. Is he punching him or not? Oh. I remember this one takes a long time. Oh, he's got his red eye. That's good. Yes, sorted. Yeah, have that. Right. I think we're almost there. Right. Final... Possibly final gate. Come on, mate. Put some welly into it. Get your fists out. Right, let's get another apple. I think we're coming into a grove of delicious apples. Oh, the pyramid of endings. Hooray! Woohoo! There. Have an apple. Have another one. Have an... Oh, God. Give me, a, give me a pet. There we go. Ah. Everything's better in the world now. Oh, he's gone. Dog's best friend by Mac... By Matt. God, I don't want to don't, don't pronounce that. A special thanks to Jano... Wer oh, no. <laughs> this is Tiny Fragments, where you have to keep the man alive by swapping tiles like this. And you need to get to the fruit down there. And this feels like it was inspired by World Collector... Uh, one of the winners of the previous, Ludum Dare. It's also similar to another entry this time around called Tumble Baby, which I also recommend you check out. So I need to get to the orange. That one's locked. I can't move that tile, so I'm going to have to be a bit more clever about what I do here. In fact, I just have to do that. That's quite straightforward. This is level four. I jumped in past the, like, the more tutorial stages to get to here. And there he is. He's eating the fruit, and all is good in the world. Right, let's have a look. So that one's locked. Um, that one's locked as well, but if I manage to get the man to the key, this tile will become unlocked and I'll be able to move that wherever I want. So let's have a look. Where does he need to go? Let's just swap that round there. Perfect. He's got the key. Now I... All I have to do now is swap... Oh, hang on. When you're actually holding the tiles, time freezes. So we need to wait for him to go there. Swap that round. And he should now fall onto the delicious apple slash orange. Or possibly bomb. 
Right, so things will continue to get harder. So I've got to pause this now because he's about to walk into spikes. If I put him up there, he'll then fall into spikes. So we've got to be careful there. So we'll need him to get the key. So we'll need to fall onto the key. Let's put that there. So we'll go over to there. He'll turn around. Turn around. And then he'll go over there and fall down onto the key. Right, however... Is it okay? Yes, it should be okay on the left there because he'll walk into the wall there. And the sides count as wall. And it is worth pointing out, if, there's, if there isn't six on here, you, you're not allowed to use the blank space. You have to use the tiles that are already there because you, you always swap. Right, so we've got to be a bit tricky here because he's going to go left. Um, and unfortunately, he can't then turn right, right again because there's some spikes there. So we'll use what we've learnt. Let's put that over there. Oh, hang on. This is going to be a bit tricky. We'll make him fall down there just for a second. I'm not quite sure if this is perfect. Oh, no, this is okay, because he's going to turn around. Uh, and now I need to make him go over there. Oh, that's fine then. Yes, he can just turn around on the wall. So now we can get the orange. And all is deliciously orange slash happily. Right, let's just do one more level. So yes, in this one, it's a bit tricky because we can't use this space up here. Uh, we need to work out where to go. So this, if we, if we put him over there, he'll go left. Which is fine, but he needs to drop down onto the key. So, let's wait for that him to go over to the right. Put that... No, that needs to be there. That's fine. Oh, no, no, that needs to be there. No, ooh, hang on. No, he's going to walk into that, isn't he? Okay, let's just let him do that. So he actually needs to walk off the right-hand side of somewhere. Otherwise, he'll doy. And we don't want him to doy, do we? That's less than ideal. So we'll have to be a bit clever here. And we'll need him to go... We need him to go onto this tile, like that. And then as soon as he gets onto the precipice, we need to then do some shift, very quick shifting around. We need him, that to go up there, and then that to go there. Perfect. Now, there's a slight issue. Oh, hang on. He's going to bugger things up. He needs to fall onto this one as well. So let's wait for him to go back again. So we're going to have to basically do the same thing again, only this time onto the orange instead of onto the key. So... Over there, and then quick swap, quick swap. Whew. Getting quite tricky already. And then it starts to introduce even more new mechanisms. Um, anyway, yes, so this is this is very clever, and um, I, I'm just really pleased just how much like new stuff there is um, on each level. Um, it's it's very cleverly thought out. This is Jump Golf, a fun but frustrating platform golf game. Ha! There we go into the air. Ha! And again, and this is by Tocado, who is again no stranger to doing very well in Ludum Dare. And this is another good un. Um, it's got a few interesting twists beyond what you can see. Um, like it looks like it's just a case of like um, power. Oh, careful! Oh, careful! It looks very straightforward, but it does introduce interesting twists. You can place checkpoints, which you can respawn at at any time, which is handy because it starts to get quite tough. Oh, back we go. Now you can only normally. Oh my God, we start. <laughs> You can only normally hit the ball when you're motionless. However, certain um, different services have different effects on you. Like if, oh, like if you bounce off a bit of sand at any point during the move, um, you will actually get a uh, like a second jump, which can be very handy later on. Anyway, let's go up there. We're a bit rolly. It was fine though. Up there, and let's checkpoint just in case. Uh, okay, just in case that happens. Right, reset. Right, a little bit of power. Less power than that. I think the friction on the grass is quite small, so you really want to be... There we go, that's more like it. Ha! Stop. Checkpoint. And up we go. Oh god, this, this is actually quite tough, this, this metal stuff. So we've got to really launch ourselves. There we go. Oh, ha! There, there was the, um, the double jumping action, because we, are, we did bounce off the sand. Now, be careful here. So we are going to need to use that technique of wall jumping. Oh, no dear, that's not, not doing very well at all. So hit the sand, hit the sand, hit the sand. Uh-oh. No, didn't quite work. So you have to, like, chain all your double jumps like that. Oh, here we go. There we go. And checkpoint. Let's go over here. Oh, we're not going to be able to get up there. So again, we have to go all the way to the left and use what we've learnt. Oh, no, no, not quite there. But I think this is going to be a case of, oh, bloody hell. Not panicking, because that would be silly. Oh, get, get over there. Get over there. Stay. Okay, a little bit of power. Right, let's try and graze the ceiling. 
I think that's the way forward here. Huh. Right, I've done this before, but it's this is where it starts to get particularly um, sneerily, sneakily nasty. Huh. I can try and get a bit of a bounce going on as well. Hum. Nope. Huh. Oh, no, no, not quite. Huh. Up. Up, you bastard. Oh, you little shag monster. You shag monster, you. Stay, stay. A little bit of power. And go. Hmm. It's not quite enough. Oh, there we go. Ah. Yes. Oh, we need more. We need more. Oh, we, we should have put the checkpoint down. Oh, God. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, this is too far. We've gone too far this time, lads. Oh, no. <laughs> Getting way too excited about this. <laughs> right. Oh. Huh. Huh. Checkpoint to do. Checkpoint to do. Ah. Oh, bloody hell. And again. Ah. Oh, thank God for that checkpoint. <laughs> the world's quickest checkpoint there. Ah. We start. Ah. A little bit of little bit of action. Up. Ah. Ah. Up. Up. Up, you little shit. Oh. Go blimey. Stone the crows indeed. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. For more Ludum Dare and everything indie, subscribe to Randomize User and click the bell to be notified when new videos go live. If you enjoy these videos, you can support me with a one-off tip at Buy Me A Coffee or join my Patreon. And check the description for links to those and the Ludum Dare 46 playlist. Bye bye.